And welcome back to Whatcha Cooking Fast Forward. Oh, I got a bottle of pepper in my hand <laughs> that I'm supposed to bring for you for this episode. Yes, thank but you. But of course, uh, Shamila is back from uh, Active Health Singapore. Great to have you again. Thank you, Ben. And uh, nice I see that back. you are in a nice, bright, bluish purple colour. Look like what we have on the table. <laughs> yes. Now, you know this period of uh, easing up, right? There are many Singaporeans who are getting very complacent, huh? We think that everything is over, or we actually just kind of relax down. Is there anything yep. you want to tell the viewers to look out for, especially this, during this period? Um, yes, okay. So um, now that we are past circuit breaker phase two, um, you can ease into going to outings with your friends, but please maintain it within five packs still. Keep your mask on. All right, and um, another advice I'd like mm. to tell people is also to put on your insect repellent when you're out, okay? Because the cases of dengue mm. is going up at certain areas, yeah? And that's the reason why today's episode is centered around immunity, Ooh. okay? So we have ingredients to boost your immunity, uh, a lot of citrus that we're going to be using in the different dishes Yes uh, To help you, give you your vitamin C that you need ah, So it's really important for you The best way to, you know, prevent yourself from getting into any forms of issues Is to keep your health in the optimal level And of course, talking about immunity today We have, uh, you know, a very suitable candidate to come on in Because she needs to be always on a tip-top condition And there's none other than our very own Singapore model And of course, face of beauty 2018 Singapore. This is Tanya. Woo! Yay! Hello, hello. Come, come, come. Hi. Since you face Hi, of beauty, ben. I like Hi, you Shamila. face of beauty. Hi, everyone. Hello, Tanya. Fantastic to see you, lah. It's been nice it's been quite a while. I haven't seen you for a couple of months since yes, our last collaboration. Yes, because of the COVID COVID yeah. period. Yeah. And we were talking about today's topic. It's immunity booster. You have to always be in your tip top condition. So, uh, let our viewers find out more a little bit about you like what you do mm. you know you're in a pageant how do you prepare yourself and what are some of the things that you have been involved in yes because pageant is really a tough journey so i do a lot of preparations in terms of diet exercising to keep fit and all wow. and of course to represent singapore on the international stage is really very different it's a great experience and yeah i do modeling like photo shoots events modeling as well as filming yeah yeah so we have met quite a few times on involvements Then we meet again today yes. wow, what, How painted <laughs> can that be right? Yes. But I'm just curious also You've taken part in a couple of pageants Two, three, four? Um, three Three, wow So face of beauty Singapore Face of beauty Singapore, right? Yes, correct Which means we look at her Confirmed Singaporean You know why? Because <laughs> when we stand together We see eye to eye Same eye to eye Also Singapore Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, but again Let's dive on into What we have on the table today Okay uh, Do you cook regularly? Uh, I don't, but I try to prepare some healthy meals for myself. You know, Shamila, yes. notice one thing, lah. Yes. When they stand. Yeah. <laughs> it's so <laughs> modernless, yeah. right? I'm also trying. I'm like, mm, okay. yeah, we learn, but I rest on. I the must work on that. <laughs> <laughs> rest here. I must work on the angles. Yeah, so. work on the angle, the yeah. pose, huh? So they're they're well groomed, lah. I think that's yes. the most important thing, part of their training, right? True. And of course, to eat well means to look good. And uh, today, Shamila, what is the ingredients that we have? Yes, we test, uh, yeah, sure. Cook often, okay. Ah. Do you cook? No, I don't cook often. Okay, now let's number one. Let's go into this one first. What's this? Just give it a quick guess. Oil. Uh, oil, huh? <laughs> <laughs> get this one right. Jala leo. Okay, and then we have over here. Brinjal. Brinjal. Yes. Chocolate. Uh, looks cake. like mushroom. <laughs> no, it's chocolate shred. Uh, no lah, it's mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> she was so serious. She's like, oh, I always trust Ben, you know. Okay. This one. Minced chicken. Shredded cheese. cheese. And then the colour is so I thought it was shredded omelettes, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just now you're asking me, right? You thought it was the yolk. Let me guess this out. Okay, so um, it has changed yeah, colour. It has actually oxidised, but it's actually garlic paste. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because garlic, when you actually shred it, okay. it's actually a bit yellowish. When, when yes. it's exposed to air, it mm. slowly changes. So that's why it's a green colour. Yes. But it's still fine. Yeah. Is there any way to prevent the garlic from oxidising? Well, yes. Okay, so you can actually add some lemon juice after you have blended uh, your garlic paste or you can even add some vinegar okay, to prevent it from oxidising and changing colour. Mm, so there's some easy tricks for you if you really are particular about the colour of your food. Lah, huh? Yes. Okay, so uh, we're going to move on in to start the preparations. Today, you yep. can go hands-on. I, okay. okay, I know you and I know you seldom cook. I'm excited. Okay? <laughs> so you are like the, the, the queen of the household, right? <laughs> so uh, today, we're going to go hands-on. So uh, Shamila, what's the very first step for today? Okay, so what we have here is actually brinjal mm -hmm. that I have uh, sliced into 1cm uh, thick circles. 
Okay, and for brinjal, what we usually want to do is you want to salt it a little bit because today we are baking. And why we want to do that is we want to dehydrate the brinjals a little bit. Okay, so we okay. are going to do a quick hand wash. Uh-huh. All right. So, okay. um, why 1 cm? Just curious. Um, okay, so that it cooks evenly. Yeah, you won't have uneven cuts where one will take longer than the other. Okay, so that's the reason why it's cut into 1 cm thickness. So, good thing you're very lucky today. We already cut for you because fast forward. Right? No. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and um, we have also drizzled some salt, okay, so that we can dehydrate it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to bake oh. the eggplants first. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have actually preheated the oven at 200 degrees and we're going to cook the brinjal or bake the brinjal for 20, 15 to 20 minutes. Right. Okay, so just line it. Yeah. Okay, and that's going to go into the oven. So whether it's with seed or without seed doesn't matter, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, the brinjal does come with seeds. Mm. Yeah, but the seeds are completely edible. And what will happen is the skin will crisp up when we bake it and, um, and then the like centre goes very and gooey softness, and soft. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so to help with that, alright, so you can see that all the juices have actually come out, mm. okay, because we have dehydrated the brinjal. Okay, oh, that's. So you extract the water concentrate by the yes. salt that you added earlier on. Correct, okay, mm. so if there's too much moisture, it will take too long to cook and it will become very gooey. Ah, do you take brinjal? Um, at times. What yeah. do you do for? Uh? Okay, so brinjal has very high selenium and it's a very good antioxidant. Oh. Okay, and then also, like I said earlier, it is an immune booster as well. Your mm. antioxidants help to prevent things like cancer. Yeah. Alright, and um, yeah, so that's the reason why we're going to have uh, brinjals as our base. So I'm going to be the gentleman and help you place it right in the oven. Thank you. Oh, we actually have one set that is already inside because we are using it for fast forward. So we already have one that's already in the baking. Uh, which we'll bring out later so that it's much faster. Okay. Yes, And correct. I'm going to set this to just about 15 minutes and yep. we'll bring out the almost ready ones later. I see you're very lucky correct. today. Everything's fast forward for you. Yes. Okay, so we're going to do the pan, right? Yes, okay. okay so gonna what's going to happen is while the uh, brinjal is actually baking, we're going to prepare the ingredients or the toppings that we're going to top the, the, the brinjal bites. What's the first step? Okay, so the first step is usually to add some oil. Right, but today mm -hmm. I'll just let you know we don't have to add too much oil. Okay, the reason why is because when you cook mushrooms, mm -hmm. um, what oh. happens is it already has liquid. Yes, okay, so the liquid is going to come out from the mushroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh. and that's the reason why we do not want to add too much oil because then the water that's going to come out is going to make it very oily. oily. Okay, so you can just add a little bit of oil, and that oil okay. is going to help you cook the onion. Should we use a teaspoon? Or do we just drizzle? Okay, like drizzle lah. Go yeah, by you feeling. can just a drizzle little oil, a little like, bit of oil. Yes. I add oil? Yeah, you add oil. Okay. Wait, what's your <laughs> Oh, in okay, this so, way? Yeah, just, add, pour, just a, pour, a small okay. drizzle. Yeah. And go spoon. like, oh, just point lah. It's okay. Oh, she's very dainty. Must use spoon lah. Oh, la. oh, sure. Oh, 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 no, I thought. Okay, so yeah, one spoon. One, one oh, teaspoon. Just like that? No lah, more, 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 more. Enough, enough to go around the pan. I just Like that? So we know when Tanya cooks, she doesn't use oil. Because uh, very minimal. No, 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 no. <laughs> Try just, to minimize. I, when, I, when I see Tanya cook, I know she never cooked before. <laughs> <laughs> that's a compliment. Yeah, okay, so no, come on, Tanya. You can tell him okay. what you cook at home. So, uh, then you can put the spoon over there. Yes. Okay. Wow, she very worried that she do the wrong step. Right? Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to let the um, pan so, uh? heat up a little bit. Okay, then I'll let you know the steps so that it's easier for you. The onion is going to go in. Okay. okay. And as the onion caramelizes, we can also then add in the mushrooms. Mushroom. Yeah. And the umami flavor will come out. Yes. Okay, oh. so it takes quite some time, about three minutes, for the mushrooms to quick cook and sweat it out. Mm. Okay, so now what do we do? Okay, so now we add in the onion. Onion, okay. like, take the spoon. Yeah, the spatula. Oh, you have the spatula yeah. and then dive it in. You do it, does it need to be hot? Should I turn out the heat? Yes. Alright, let's turn it up. Okay, so nice. Okay. Alright, so now you're going to move the mushrooms in, so I'm going to give you more okay. space. Yep, okay, All so right. you can just slide the mushrooms into the pan. Everything? How much should yes. I put? All everything. everything in. How many grams? Okay, is so that, that oh, is oh. about um, 125 grams of mushroom. So it feeds about uh, one packs like me and about three packs of Tanya. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely right. I okay, so, so on okay. Um, a usual basis, it will feed about three packs. Okay. Okay, but then yes, I think Tanya's a bit conscious. So, yeah. all we're gonna do is just let this sweat it up. Yeah, mix around a little bit. Yes. You know, get familiar with okay, the so you like to masa masa. This is your time to do yeah. some masa masa. I like the way she hold the spatula. <laughs> she hold it, macam playing ping pong lah. <laughs> 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 
She's being Bad dainty hand. about yeah. it. So you can okay, hold it okay. Really and, uh, yeah, like just this. Give it a quick toss, turn. Ah, now you're yes. starting to look more like a you know, partner always, in the kitchen. I always yes. want to learn to cook. So after this, the, how do we know whether the mushroom is like ready this? for the... Okay, so you get the very nice cooked mushroom um, yeah. flavour, the fragrance. Oh, wow, it's yeah, it smells nice. Yeah. Okay, so um, now with that, we're going to add in a little bit okay. of uh, garlic paste. Okay. Okay, just a tiny just bit. Just a small bit, maybe half a spoon. Yeah, that's that. enough. And then we will spatula you. Yep. I'm like the task holder <laughs> today, you know. I'm like the. the so uh, I just spread this? Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just right. mix it around. Okay, so now she's starting to look like a chef in the kitchen. Yes, very nice. Okay, and um, what we're going to do next is we're going to. Put in the chicken? No. Um, no. Okay, let's flavor it a little bit more. Okay. Let's just add one spoon of tomato sauce. Right. So actually, this is a pre mix, you know, those bottle sauces, mm. uh, like a pasta sauce. Okay, so you so can get that because. For you, yes, okay. But um, if I want to chop up. Yeah, so you can and chop mash up. my own puree. Yes, good, you right? can get uh, tin tomatoes if mm. you have no time, or you can just, like you said, use one fresh tomato. Give yeah. me a quick stir. You can okay. see that it's mixing it well. You can okay. be bigger in your action. She's very dainty, huh? Yeah. Okay, and then with that, we're gonna add in another mm. um, 100, 125 grams of minced chicken. Okay, so what you see here is actually black pepper flakes. I have actually seasoned it with some uh, black pepper. Mm -hmm. So is any black okay. pepper, they can have it available yes. in the sauce. Yes, alright. So we're going to add this in. And Tanya, you're going to need to stir nice. so that uh, this, okay. doesn't, yeah, this doesn't, doesn't slap. Doesn't slip on to yeah. the... Yeah. You're right. You don't want to chow it. It doesn't chow it. And the most important thing is that you put the... Uh,它的那个, so this is gonna be it, but so what kind of a cuisine is this? Is it like a Singaporean style cuisine, Asian style cuisine? Yeah, so it's uh, a fusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I've done with the topping is because um, not many people like brinjols, like you have said. Mm. So to make it a bit more um, desirable, I've actually done something like a pizza topping. So you, you can okay. actually stir it. Uh. So Mila's going to come on in. Okay, you can use okay. more energy to, to like this. Yeah, you don't need yes. to be worried about you flying out of the pan. Yep. Just use the energy like how you well look me on the show. Like that, like okay, that. I will. <laughs> yeah. This is the best time to vent you. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, you should actually just use the strength like how you well me on my show. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Yeah. Alright, so uh, this is like masa masa now. They're like, oh, better of the spatula. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're just gonna break it up. Okay. okay because we don't want too big a chunk. You remember our pinjol yes, yes. circles were quite small. Mm. Yeah, so that's the reason why we don't want to have uh, big chunks of um, meat. Yeah, so now it looks okay. a little bit like uh, what do you call that? Uh, bolognese style. Oh, yes. So it's like miniature chicken chunks. So that's easy to plate onto the Circles, ring jaw, right? Yes. Okay, so then maybe you can actually, because the chicken is actually coming out very nicely, it's almost done. Another two minutes, it's going to be so done. So I'm going to remove the brinjal from the oven? Yes. Dun, dun, so dun, nice. dun, 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 Whoa. Oh, they actually do resemble little baguettes, right? Huh? Yeah. With a little bit of nice color. And it looks really nice. Looks nice. So I'm gonna move away from you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do I'm you want to bring it over? Oh yes, we're gonna put it just over here. Yes, be careful. Okay, and this is what you're gonna do. Do you want to handle the cheese or do you want to handle the filling? The cheese. The cheese. Yes. Okay, very good. So this is going to be. Is it, what, so what kind of a cuisine is this? Is it like a Singaporean style cuisine, Asian style cuisine? 
Yeah, so it's uh, a fusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I've done with the topping is because um, not many people like brinjols, like you have said. Mm. So to make it a bit more um, desirable, I've actually done something like a pizza topping. So you, you can okay. actually stir it. Uh. Shamila's going to come on in. Okay, can you use okay. your own energy to like this? Yeah, you don't need yes. to be worried about you flying out of the pan. Yep. Just use the energy like how you well look me on the show. Like that, like okay, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the best time to vent you. Yes. Uh, no, you should actually just use the strength like how you well look me on my show. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Yep. Alright, so uh, this is like masa-masa now. They're like, oh, better of the spatula. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're just gonna break it up. Okay. okay, because we don't want too big a chunk. You remember our brinjal yes, yes. circles were quite small? Mm. Yeah, so that's the reason why we don't want to have uh, big chunks of um, meat. Yeah, so now it looks okay. a little bit like a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, bolognese style. Oh, yes. So it's like miniature chicken chunks. So that's easy to plate onto the Circles, brinjol, right? Circles, yes. Okay, so Ben, maybe you can actually, because the chicken is actually coming out very nicely, it's almost done. Another two minutes, it's going to be so done. So I'm going to remove the brinjol from the oven? Yes. Dun, it smells so nice. Whoa! Oh, they actually do resemble little baguettes, right? Huh? Yeah. With a little bit of nice colour. And it looks really nice. Looks nice. So I'm going to move away from you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you I'm want to bring to it over? Oh yes, we're gonna put it just over here. Yes, be careful. Okay, and this is what you're gonna do. Do you want to handle the cheese or do you want to handle the filling? The cheese. The cheese. Yes. Okay, very good. So what do you do with the cheese? Easy step, right? Okay, so we're gonna um, just add a spoonful of cheese to, to the each. base of all the circles. Okay, let me grab. I'm gonna just put it over here. So cheese, okay. cheese first. Okay. Just a little bit on top. Yeah, just put it. Yeah, just one teaspoon. Right above. Okay, and because we haven't really tasted the filling, I'm just going to go in and Ooh. taste it. Mm, never mind, drop is okay. Ben, do you want to taste it? <laughs> yeah, actually I brought a fork, then you forgot to ask me. Yes, you can okay, go on and taste. Dry. Okay, because okay, okay, before you um, spoon it, it's always good to taste because we haven't actually added the salt or pepper yet. Yeah, to see whether it is uh, to your liking on your palate, right? Yes. Ooh. How's that? Very nice. Mm. I think the tomato flavor has really set in. Mm -hmm. uh, I think nowadays we are more into healthy living, so mm -hmm. less salt. Mm. Okay, but it is missing some salt, right? Mm. Okay, so I'm going to season it a little bit. Sweet Not too much, you know yeah. why? Because the cheese is also going to add some. Salt. Sodium, yeah. yeah. Sodium, okay? So um. just a little mm. bit. Mm. Okay? And salt just simply just makes magic, right? Yes. But again, uh, not too much sodium, so don't get too salty. It also dehydrates the body, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so we don't want too much, just a little bit. It's just a pinch that I have added. I like how serious Tanya is taking her task on... Uh, on cheese. Yeah. I love cheese. You love cheese. Yes. Yeah, dairy product person. It's got to be a burst of Okay, of so I'm just going to spoon okay, the toppings over. Uh, I like the how I heat it. Ha -ha. And because we, you love cheese, right? Yes. So, I'm so what are you going to do? Help you litter a bit more cheese, right? Just right above it. Yeah. Because I'm a cheese lover too. Okay, now because our topping is already cooked, mm -hmm. we are just going to put it back in the oven for about five minutes to melt the cheese. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, so if you love cheese, you can actually cut down on the salt that I season mm -hmm. uh, the toppings with and just go in with a bit more cheese. Okay, if you can try and look for reduced um, fat or reduced sodium uh, cheese in the market. Back to me putting this into the tray. Yes. And of course, Thank uh, you. all you need is five, five minutes. Five minutes. Yes. Okay. So, you know, um, you run a busy routine, right, Tanya? I always see you running around, busy running shopping. Running around? Did I? Busy for beauty care. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you have a hectic schedule because for you no know, pageant participants, you have trainings. Then you have grooming classes, and even in, in your you know acting schedule and mm. your modeling schedule, it's always wham bam a la gazam, right? Yep. Running here and there. Oh. Uh, and so, uh, such a setup is going to be really easy for you. Mm. Was it simple so far? Yeah, pretty simple. And it looks like very healthy. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we just have one last step. Oh, um, we do? Tanya, are you comfortable handling the knife? Can. Of course, yes. Man. Can. Okay, so all She's you're gonna do. She's a very feisty person. <laughs> yes, Ooh. and he okay, needs to be careful. <laughs> all you have to do is chop up the um, garnish for today. This uh, one. Yes. Yes. 
Okay, so we have already washed our garnish. And we want it to be tiny, tiny, Man, tiny. Like this, right? Yeah, very, very small. Yeah. Wow. Like that? Okay, let's yeah. go a bit smaller. smaller. Even smaller. Yeah. Like, like this? Uh, what you see in the... Yes. In the the, the food stalls in yes. the hawker centre, right? This is uh, parsley yes. or coriander? Okay, this is parsley. Parsley. Yeah. Is this okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, if right, you really so want to just make it a little bit, let me show you one. So you can actually just go... Ooh, Ben's going to show you his knife skills. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's why it's over the place. Yes. Oh, very nice. And then you get the more nice piece. Fine, yeah. yes. It's what I learn in what you're cooking. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so later, once the cheese has melted, we can actually um, take out our brinjal bites. Mm. We're just going to squeeze in a bit of uh, lime, lime, lemon, lemon juice. Mm. Okay, so that's lemon where you get your more. citrus, your vitamin C. Mm. Okay, just to um, give an extra acidity to the dish. Alright, so um, the lemon juice is going to add a nice acidity and cut like, you know, the one note uh, across the dish. Ah, mm. So it's not going to be more flavorful. Like. Yes, yeah. it's going to add a more depth of flavor and then we're just going to sprinkle the um, garnish over and then you can indulge. Yeah, we're going to plate it uh, and then garnish on a small plate, garnish and plate. Yeah. So I'm going to bring out the pan again. <laughs> I was so excited. Yeah, the cheese should have melted. Yes. Oh, the cheese. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Wow, okay, nice. Okay, so nice. you get that nice bright yellow color. Yeah. So I got some in more cheese. You, you get this one, your favorite. Yeah, one this too. <laughs> nice. Shady chop. Yeah, shady chop too. No wonder. Okay. Be face of beauty Singapore, very Singaporean. Chop first. No, yes. no. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get something to play this. She wants up. to save the best. Alright, so we're gonna dive in for the garnishing. Yes. Because it's ready. Yep. I'm really excited, lah. Huh? Me so, too. Have a nice sprinkle. Do you need coriander? By chance? Uh, a little, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Is it overpowering for you when it comes to the flavor? I think it's okay. I quite like this. Okay, so, okay, so I'm nice. just gonna sprinkle uh, lemon juice. It's like raining lemon right. drops, right? Yep. When all the raindrops are lemon drops and gum drops. Really? Okay, let's dive in. <laughs> yes. uh, I'm gonna bring it on a spatula okay. for you. Uh, I think it should be cool enough. I'll give you a smaller bite one. Lah. The cheesy. Oh, you want the cheesy one? No, this is fine. This is fine. I need okay. the cheese for I'll you. Just, uh, go hands on. Yeah. Place your palm open. I'm just gonna uh, sweep it right on. <laughs> this is very Singaporean eating style. Oh, okay, just be hand. careful. I why it you're might be cheese. still very hot. Okay, you take a small okay. bite, I'll eat the whole thing. Oh, this is really nice. Ta -da -da! One, two, three. Ta -da Dive in. Oh! Mm. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a great dish for people who don't like green jaws, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Because you get that nice umami flavor. Yeah. How Together with the meat. Mm. It tastes different with the green jaw. Nice. Does it make you like, whoa? Yeah, because I'm not a very green jaw person. Mm. So that flavor did surprise you, right? Yes. Sweet, sour, a little bit soft. And that lemon juice that's just adds another depth. Mm. Yeah, just nice. So we're going to plate that right now and uh, enjoy the remaining binjos without you guys. So remember to share the post and let everybody know that we are cooking right over here. And we will be back right after the break with What You Cooking Fast, fast Forward. forward.
And welcome back to What You Cooking Fast Forward. So we had everything green in hand. Yes. I got green chili padi. Mm -hmm. There's this. Ladies green fingers. Chili. <laughs> Oh, green chili and green pepper. Yes, wow. okay, green capsicum. And why is it so green? It's because today I'm going to make a sambal ijo or sambal hijau. Oh. Okay, which is just Malay for green. So, it's sambal okay. Chinese la jiao. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but we just yeah. had an amazing brinjal uh, flavoured like mini pizza, right? What's, what's that dish called again? Yeah, so it's a big brinjal bite. Wow, how, how do you feel about it? We finished everything though. Nice. Mm, it's quite good, right? Yes, and very you, tasty. You, you really won't put on too much weight because it's all, you know a little bit of oil, no, lots like of greens. Yeah, and it's bite size. And it's bite size. You can share it with the family. Yeah, great way to impress your friends. In fact, when they come by to visit, you know, because team of group of five, ma, yep. just nice for everybody. <laughs> And there's actually very minimal work because mm. the oven does most of the work and then you're just, you know, stir frying the toppings mm. and then adding it into the brinjal. See? So, really, try it in the kitchen. I'm waiting for you to send photos to us. I think, uh, yeah, I will probably try it. Yeah, send your pictures because, days. you know, to the viewers out yes. there, if you have tried out our recipes, remember to send us your yeah, pictures you well. so you can feature. Yes. Uh, all right. So, okay, we have the green chili lachiao, hijau. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, are you a spice lover? Yes, I am. Oh, spice girl in the house, yeah. And you, are right. you a spice lover? Not really. Oh, so okay. this this should be just all right for everybody, lah. Um. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, this is a favorite between my husband and my mother-in-law. Uh, I only use a little bit of the sambal. Okay. So okay. again, as we always say in the kitchen, get creative. Depending on your own taste palette, so you can make it spicier and less spicy. Anyway, you can go. Yep, and actually this is a twist to the original recipe. Okay. Okay, so uh, my Indonesian twist, friend again. actually gave me this recipe. And they don't use bell peppers or they don't use capsicum in the recipe. Oh, why? Um, because they use green tomatoes for the acidity. Oh, ah, so you okay. give a little tweak with your own touch on that one. Yes, because I couldn't find any green tomato. I have never heard of green tomatoes. You have green tomatoes? No. Um, yeah, so they are green tomatoes, which are basically the unripe version of your tomatoes. Oh my, because most of the time it's a ripe version, version oh. right? Yes, okay, and I think most of the time at the supermarkets, when we talk about unripe tomatoes, it is still quite orange. It's not really the green tomatoes that you get. So that's the reason why um, I substituted that with uh, green capsicum. Okay, so um, okay. let's look at all the greens. We already introduced three, so yep. we now have red onions. Yep. Then we have uh, lime. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have garlic cloves. Yeah. Eh? Yes. All right. And on top of that, we have chicken breast. Yep. Low, lower in fats. Great for ladies like you. If you want to maintain looking good and have you no know, good amount of white meat, chicken breast is always a good choice, right? Yeah. Mm. And a very good source of protein. Right? So if you have just worked out, uh, if you want to increase your protein intake and you're looking for something, uh, this dish will be suitable for you. Yeah. And of course, in the hands of Tanya, we have... Corn, yeah, my favorite. I'm, I'm assuming there's some sweetness to it, right? Because of the corn. Yes. Okay. So that's because um, you know sometimes the sambal hijau can be a bit too spicy. Yes. Yeah. So to cool off your palate, we're gonna uh, garnish with the corn. Mm. Okay. So I noticed okay. that there is a blended sort of like a rumpa style over yes, here, and I assume correct. that is everything here. Okay. That is everything here except for the uh, lime. lime. All right. Okay. So, so we're gonna squeeze in the lime later, but we need to cook off the rumpa a little bit. Okay. So, right. how much of everything into the blender to make this? Okay, so how much is about uh, 10 green chilli. Okay, and then uh, depending on your preference, about 2 chilli padi. Now, what I've done is for this, I've actually de-seeded half of the chilies that we need. And then the rest, I've just used them with the seeds on. And then 2 cloves of garlic and 1 onion. Alright. So okay, and a whole capsicum. Mm. Okay, All right. so that has gone into the blender to make our rumpa or our paste. So you can always make your rumpa first, you know, have it in the refrigerator, keep it for two to three days if you want to have it longer, freeze it. Yes. So if you're a busy person and you want to enjoy this like over the next uh, couple of days, you can make a bigger volume, put it inside and then over a few days, just repeat the cooking style. Lah. Yes, correct. Okay, and what we're going to do now is in the bigger pan, we're going to cook the chicken. And while the chicken is cooking in the bigger pan, at the same time, we are going to... to cook the rumpa. Run, yeah. Oh, so if you have a partner the in the kitchen like having you here, then you can cook oh. it together. Okay, okay so, yes. little bit of oil? Yes. How much is that? Little uh, by little. Dun, dun. Is it enough? Uh, yes, a little bit right. more. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, enough. And this one? 
Also, just a little oh, bit. All right, just a little bit that can uh, go around the pan. Yes, correct. Okay, okay. so now you're gonna take over. Okay, I take over. Mm, I'm gonna bring it on. We always spread the oil a little bit around the pan. Yeah. So it's good for cooking when it heats up. Rumpa, very sensitive. Huh? Got timing one. Huh? The yes. color come out, the smell come out, and hey, it looks like a frog. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to bring you over, Dania. Okay, so what are we going to start off with? Okay, so in the small pan, we can actually render mm. off the rempa. Okay, okay, what happens is uh, when you have blended it, it becomes a very nice green colour that you see. And as you temper or you cook the rempa, it's going to become an olive green colour. Oh. Okay, so the more you temper, the more you cook it, the more flavour it's going to boost. And mm. it's also going to cut off that spiciness because you're cooking off that chilli padi. Yeah, and it and can be quite strong, the flavour. Yes. It's a wake-up call. Okay, so just okay. be careful when you are handling it because, you know, in case you touch it and then you touch your nose and your eyes, oh, you are then in for a treat. Oh. You yes. are going to have a very happy day. So first step, what do we do? Rumpa in. Right. Yes. Okay, so rumpa in and then we are going to season the rumpa. We're going to add a bit of sugar because oh. uh, to cut off the spiciness. So just a little bit of sugar. Okay, just in case you're confused, this is sugar and this, uh, yeah, this is... I'm a bit not problem. confused. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Salt is usually a little More bit coarse. coarser. Yes. All right, and this one is really smoother. Just think yes, about your I face think. and my face texture. <laughs> then that is sugar, and this is salt. Yeah. Yeah. So your face is coarser, <laughs> as usual. The pores are bigger. Okay. Let's so put it in the small yeah. pan. Okay. Or the big pan. All. Uh, yeah, you can render okay. off all into yeah. the. Okay, so just be careful. It. Yeah, I'm gonna give you one uh, oh, spatula yeah, so you can thank assist her. All right, so um, we're we'll gonna just get it. Like this, I just Let me just bring. Yes, it up. you're gonna okay. just uh, render the rempa. As you stir, you can see oh. that the consistency of the rempa will actually start to thicken a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt for flavor. So it's a little bit of this, a yeah. little bit of that. Uh -huh. Okay, and then what we're going to do is once we have um, cooked the rempa, we're going to actually take it off the heat and then add in the lime, lime juice, juice last. Okay, okay because we don't want to cook the lime too much. And the big pan is getting hot, so maybe you can also help okay, me to so just... Okay, so I'm going to pass this over to Shamila so she can continue yep. stirring. And I'm going to help you with the chicken in. Okay. And then after then you come back, just in case. Ooh. So it's seasoned with a little bit of pepper. Ah. Yes. Okay, so for chicken, right? Mm. Ah. When it's cooked, you will see the colour change. It will turn a little bit more whitish. Yeah, so about three to four minutes. Okay, on each side. Mm. Three to okay, four okay, minutes my on each side. Has <laughs> you can see for uh, Tanya, right? She can feel the spice getting into her. The yeah. eyes turn smaller. Alright. Okay, uh, that's so a bit I'm... of the onion cooking. Yeah. So okay. the flavours are stronger. Uh, then one way that we always tell people is you roll the lime yep. so that it's easier to juice it. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay, so roll it. Cut it in half. Ooh, um, let me I help see you. I see right. I can't yeah, move over. Let me help you. Actually, I can. Yeah, I'll just help you flip one. <laughs> because you'll pop a little bit. You can see the chicken breast colour looks nice and white. Mm. But because there's some thickness, so you need a little bit more time yes. for you to rest, alright? Okay, right? so, so probably you can turn down the heat one. so that it will cook all the way through. Okay. And then you can flip the other one. Let's see okay, how you flip the other piece. Over here, I'm just adding a juice of half a lime mm. into the rempa. Wow. Mm. You can see that uh, she's a little bit scared. I'm not going to help you mix the rempa while you are squeezing it in. Yeah. Oh, so that's done? Yes, that's done. Fantastic. So you just let it rest. And for the chicken, we need a little bit more time because yeah. it's quite thick. Okay, so our rempa has actually caramelized quite a bit. Mm. But that's okay. So it's really nice. So this, I assume, is going to be smeared on top. Yes, you can either smear it on top or I like to put it on the side just to be cautious because I don't know how spicy it's going to be. Okay, it looks tarer. Let's check the bigger piece also, just in okay. case. Very nice. Right. Okay, this one's still... A small bit more to go. Yep. Okay, but you can lower the heat so that it will cook in the heat. Are you afraid of oil splatters? I am a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Last time when I cook, it's like, oh, it's so painful. Oh, yeah. yeah. But now you can actually wear face shows when you cook. Lah, huh? uh, 
Yeah, you <laughs> can. Now that you have it, then you might as well just put it on. Eh? <laughs> they don't have to worry about all the oil splattering. Or just remember that it is supposed to be on medium heat. Mm. Okay, just now we turned it on because we wanted the oil to get a bit hot. Mm. Uh, just make sure that it is on medium heat. Mm. I'm going to come on in and uh, help the ladies to plate it up. It's nicely char grilled oh. yes, on the outside, you. just the way I like it. So I'm going to place it right in the middle. Two pieces of chicken breast. Slice it right through to make sure we check it and it's thorough, you can see. Because this is a really thick slice. You can see that it's thoroughly cooked in the middle. Still maintaining that moisture because when you cut it through, it still feels like, like a little bounce in it. Nice. Okay. And we are done. I'm going to top. You would like to smear it? Come, let me help you. Yeah. The butter knife. Wow, very, very thick layer. Huh? Okay, this one I'll do a thin layer so that... Okay, it's like a little butter spread. Very nice. Wow. See? Simple. Looks nice. Blend. Fry, fry. Put it together. Mix it and voila! You have like a restaurant style. Yep. And the corns, I assume, are uh, just boiled or you would stir um, So you can actually get, you know, whole kernel corn or you can steam your corn. Okay, I'm going to put it at the side. Just to... Oops, sorry. Just to give you an extra bite. What corn is this? Uh, it's a whole kernel corn. Ah. How is so I different? use sweet corns, okay. frozen sweet corns, so there's a little bit more sweetness. This mm. one has a little bit more light organic flavour, so it's quite refreshing to bite. Yep. Alright, so um, looks like we are done. Yes. Uh, so, Tanya, we're going to dive in and give you a quick try. I'm going to serve you a little bit. Wow, so look at the plating. Uh, if I want to make it prettier, we can add okay. the slime. Right? Yep. With two slices. Wow, of. so now it looks like a very presentable. Two percent meal. Yes. All right. Let's just give you one nice chunk. This is yours, and that is mine. Oh, Nala. that's so nice of you. <laughs> Nala, just yep. making sure that you don't get too big a slice. I'm gonna slice it further to half for you, so that at least you can fit your palate easily. Okay. And uh, just to make sure everything is nice and cooked. Very nice. And I'm gonna get a nice chunk over here, and uh, dive in on the super size bit. Wow! Look at nice. Mm. Alright, we're going to dive in first without you to give yeah, you some feedback. Ahead. So, bon appetit! Mmm! Mm. Wow! <laughs> it's not spicy. It's still crispy. Mmm! Mm. So you really get that golden crispiness outside mm. because of the high heat that we started with, the low heat to retain the, 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 the moisture. moisture. So you don't find it dry, right? And then when you eat into the hijau, the fire starts burning. And the corn just settles it down. Yeah. Yeah, but it's really not spicy. Oh, it's really not mm. spicy, okay. I, I feel it that there's a there's small, a fiery Kind of flavor. spice, but it's not like the very spicy kind. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so if you want to just add on the spice level, you can actually add either more chilli padi, or remember just now I said uh, you can de half of the fresh chilies. then you don't have to if uh, you want it a bit more spicy. Okay, mm. so spice preference is, you know, to each individual, but you can play around with the ingredients and de-seed or not, uh, so that it can actually help to match your spiciness. So, really, this is such a great taste. I'm sorry, I dived into the second piece because it's so and good. And make sure if the corn is just nice. Yeah, it's yeah, so it's good with the corn. and sour. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, the taste is what? Sweet. sweet and sour? Yeah, sweet, sour, like this, spicy. Yeah. And of course, we're going to come on back with one more bonus recipe that's super fast to bake. Mm. So, stay tuned with us right here on What You're Cooking. Fast forward.
And we are back with the final bonus for today after having, you know, brinjals and a nice spicy mm -hmm. uh, chicken recipe. Yes. It's always good to cleanse your palate, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the table and I know and this is going to be something that's healthy and refreshing. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Shamila, what's, what's this going to be? Okay, so this is going to be a uh, grapefruit soda. Okay. Um, this is not orange. Uh, yeah, I already, yeah, I already gave it away. Yeah, you want this is grapefruit. It's so obvious. No, this is a very big orange, and this it's is a small orange. orange. I was gonna tell you it's a baby pomelo. No, no. Oh, <laughs> it's a grapefruit. <laughs> right, okay, I, I, I seldom handle grapefruits, lah. Uh -huh. So, so I didn't realize that they do look like that. I always thought they are like super huge. Yes. Okay. Mm. So they are usually bigger than your orange. That's how you know. But you know, sometimes your navel orange can also be quite big. Okay, that's the reason why you need to look very carefully. Sometimes they'll have some pink tinge. Oh. Then you know this is the pink grapefruit. Oh, this is the okay? pink grapefruit. Yes. Alright, and then another nice citrus um, with a vitamin C booster is your orange. So mm. are you feeling thirsty after having a spicy dish and a cheesy Actually, dish? Actually, I am. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this I is going to be something that will be really exciting. So, okay, mm. knife works now, right? I assume? Yes. Are you confident to handle the knife on a grapefruit? Can? Um, I yeah. Okay, okay, but before we... We we're gonna cut it, but before we do that, okay, mm. we wanna get a uh, maximum juice out of your grapefruit. So you're gonna have to roll and knead it a little bit. Okay, come. So you need to do some arm work. So you need to knead it, uh? No, 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 yeah, just use energy. Just now you were just rolling it around. It, it's not like that. Two hands? It doesn't work when you roll it around. <laughs> yes, it's muscle power. You gotta power, squeeze guys. it a little bit and press. Wow, and press. really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can feel that you can actually rub against some of your acupuncture points on your fingers. I really like the feeling. Yeah. I use this like a fake massage for myself. And actually, if you rub it mm. hard enough, <laughs> okay. it will also release the essential oils. You touch the, or you touch the orange, you can feel that it's softened now. Mm. And with yours, let me just do a few press. Yes. And you can actually feel later that just now when you press, you say it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you a chance to... Softer. Enough. Yeah, softer. So it's a lot softer, which means the juices are now squeezed out. Mm. Yes, okay, so later when you cut it and when you um, squeeze it, you'll be able to get more juice out of it. Okay, I'll be a gentleman. I'll help you slice the orange. <laughs> I'll help you slice the grapefruit to half. Lah. You do the orange, alright? Okay. So, right in the middle, give it a quick cut. Slice it through. Ooh, wow. Look at how beautiful it is. Yeah. Why my okay. voice like that? So, <laughs> pink grapefruit, a lot of vitamin C, a lot of antioxidants as well. Mm. No, you can't. Okay, all, eh. and Be careful, eh? it's also good, you know, for people who have blood pressure, helps to lower your blood pressure. I like how she holds a knife even. Usually when we apply pressure, we will put a finger here, right? Yeah. She used two fingers to No, I didn't use two fingers. How okay. can you two fingers? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to squeeze it in. Yep, okay. Right. So we're going to squeeze in the whole um, grapefruit and then also half of the orange. Okay? Oh, oh half right, an orange so only. Yep. Okay, so let's okay. mm. yeah. Okay, two hands. It's just going to fly. You can put two palms, let me show you. So you can yeah. just put between your two palms. Like yeah, this. and then and just then use just your palm to squeeze out all the juice. Yeah, and then wiggle your palms yeah. against each other. Does it feel like you're <laughs> in the help? gym? Does it, yeah, does, it, does it feel like you're in the gym and you wiggle it? Oh, this is a new exercise, yeah. I wouldn't so do this. Bicep work. So you can actually feel the exercise going on. Now, Jamila, you show her how to okay. squeeze through okay. the orange. Yeah, okay, so even though I have it simpler, so usually you just cup everything and then you go in like that. So that all you can see how the she's comes wow, out. wow, you have a good pump mm -hmm. strength. And then you read Okay, off. and yep. Yeah, so I think that's of juice here. Yours okay, looks dry. Your, your fingers. So, for example, if the, the, the grapefruit is a little bit too hard, right? Or big for your hand, uh, then you can be like Shamila, like that. Use one hand to hold. Part by part. And then you, you just rub it. Yeah. So, you actually, let me just show you, huh? So you just okay, and you rub it with your fingers, then the pulps get squashed up. Mm -hmm. And then you just give it a nice good rub. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fine. Do you see a juice coming off? Yeah, uh, one <laughs> more method that I will use very often. Okay, come Tanya, maybe I can help you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so Tanya. And uh, we've got quite mm -hmm. a fair bit. Let's Shamila squeeze it a little bit more. Yep. And now what's the next step? 
Okay, so now we're going to make uh, a simple syrup. Now, this simple syrup is actually just um, an additional taste profile if you want the juice to be a little bit sweet. Okay, okay so if so, you don't want sweetness, then you can skip this step. Yes, you can skip it completely. So I'm just going to um, show you how to do it. Can. Okay, mm. normally for a simple syrup, you do have to cook it a little bit. Mm. But, you know, fast forward, we're not going to do all that work today. Mm -hmm. All we're going to do is we're going to add some hot water all right. to sugar. Okay, so just a little bit of hot water. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're just going to stir that in to some sugar. Oh, okay, so, so pour it in. Yep, and then you're just going to dissolve the sugar. Okay. By just simply stirring, stirring it, it in. So you get this thick, slightly sticky texture. Yes, correct. And that is your simple sugar syrup. syrup. Yeah. Yes. That's simple. Okay, so all we have to do now mm -hmm. is Okay, we're just going to top up the juice into the cups. How much? Mm. Three quarter, half? Uh, you can do it just one third through. Alright, so we're going to add in the soda water. Or because today I couldn't get soda water or any sparkling water, you can also add tonic water. Mm. Okay, but just remember tonic water contains quinine. Quinine, yeah. So there's a little bit of flavour originally in tonic water, really. As compared to soda water, it's more like a... Mineral, gassy water, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so that's the reason why I also mentioned earlier um, the simple syrup was actually, you know, for when we use, say, a carbonated or a sparkling water which doesn't have any taste. Mm. Okay, so... Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, so there you have it. Wow, look at the colour. It's really nice. So you can see the two-layered mm. colour tones. So it's like, like a nice little mocktail yep. you can have at home. And then actually, if you really want to make it look a bit nicer, yes, you, you can, can. You just add the orange. Slice the lemon, oh no, the lemon orange slices. Oops, I'm quite bad at cutting. All right, and then uh, just remove the seed. And just, mm. voila! <laughs> Ay, oops, oops. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, also, oh, it's actually the metal cutting. Yeah. Ta -da! Okay. <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> All right. So now you get that nice little cocktail, or um, in fact, mocktail outlook. Yep. All right. So we're gonna toast for Cheers. this one. Yes. So um, before we toast, we have come to the end of this episode, and of course, uh, Tanya, before you step right off, anything about confidence, you know, grooming, personal image that you want to say to our, you know, shout out to our viewers. Are there any tips or tricks that you want to share? I think confidence comes from like your own self. Like you feel good about yourself, you feel confident automatically. Yeah. And of course, um like certain uh daily habits, especially diet and all this, yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah, so it's always about taking care of your body because a uh, good care for yourself brings out the best in you, isn't it? So as we come to the end of uh what you're cooking, thank you once again for joining us on What You're Cooking Fast Forward. <laughs> And we are looking forward to choosing on with you guys. Let's yes. stay back. Thank you.